Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the d3dx9 underscore 43.dll file is missing error you might be experiencing on your Windows computer. So whether this error came out of nowhere or perhaps you were attempting to install an application and came across this error alert, this tutorial will be for you. It should hopefully be able to address your issue in this video. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the start menu. And you want to type in folder option. One of the best managers that should say file explorer options. I'm going to left click to open that up. And then I'm going to left click on the view tab up at the top. Where it says hidden files and folders down here, you want to select show hidden files, folders, and drives. And then select apply and OK. Once you've done that, you want to open up a web browser. It doesn't matter which one, but I'm going to use Google. Chrome to navigate over to Google and in the Google you want to type in d3dx9 underscore 43.dll download and I'm going to enter to begin the search. Now I would recommend downloading from the site that I'm going to be showing you in this tutorial today and that would be from dll slash files.com. Should be one of the best matches and when you click on the link it should appear like this screen. You want to scroll down until you get to available versions down here there should be a 64-bit and a 32-bit version. You want to select whatever one corresponds to your installation of Windows. Most people should be the 64-bit download. So we're going to select the 64-bit one from down there on that list. should take a moment to download, so just be patient. should be also be in a zip file format. So I'm just going to left click on the zip file once it's done downloading. Close out of the web browser. There should be a DLL file in this folder. So I'm going to just drag it over by left clicking on the file and then dragging it over to the desktop and then releasing it. And now I'm going to close out of that window, open back up the star menu and you want to type in computer. One of the best matches should say this PC. I'm going to left click on that one time to open it up. And now you want to navigate over to whichever drive Windows installed on. It should be the local disk and the drive letter in here will vary. Likely it will be the C drive for most of you guys. One clear fire way of determining where Windows is installed on is a little Windows icon should be above the hard disk. Right here, you can see in this image here. So you want to double click on it. And then you want to double click on Windows. And now if you're running a 64-bit version of the Windows operating system, you want to scroll down until you get to, or at least until you see System32 right here. And now at this point, you want to take this DLL file on our desktop. You want to left click on it and hold down and apply pressure to your mouse until you get to where it says System32. And it should say move to System32 when you're hovering this file over this folder here. So release pressure once you are hovering over that. And it should say that you'll need to provide administrator permission to move to this folder. Select the continue button here. Now if you're running a 32-bit version of the operating system, you want to look for a syswow64 folder instead. So the only difference would be to download it to the syswow64. So S S wow 64 Again, that would apply to 32-bit versions of Windows. But for most people, the System32 folder should be sufficient. So at this point, I recommend closing out of any open programs or applications you have on your screen. If you want to change your folder options back to hidden, like we did for the very first step of this tutorial, you're more than welcome to. And I would recommend you restart your computer. And hopefully, once you've restarted your computer, this DLL issue should be resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.